Hi everybody, it's Miss Susie. I've got your story for the day. I want to say hi to Amelia and William and Jonah and Ethan and a special hi to all our other Crestview kids and to anybody else that may be watching. Today we are going to talk about the fruits of the Spirit. So let's take a look at a fruit. This is a picture of an orange. How do we know it's an orange? It's round, it's orange, and it has slices like an orange. That's how we know it's an orange. People know we are Christians by how we act. There are certain actions or traits we should have as God's children. In the book of Galatians chapter 5 verse 22 through 23, these traits are called fruits of the Spirit. They come from us knowing God, being saved and having Jesus in our hearts, and learning how he expects us to act. Let's read the story and learn about these fruits. So today we're going to learn about the fruit of the Spirit. God tells us as Christians we are to produce spiritual fruit in our daily lives. Just like a fruit tree has good fruit, so should Christians produce spiritual fruit. There are nine different things about fruit that prove we are the Christians who God wants us to be. Love means that we are to love everybody even when it's hard to do. Joy means that we are to be joyful all the time. Peace means that we are to be at peace with everyone we come in contact with. Then, and this is the hard one, long-suffering. That means we are to be patient with others. Gentleness means we are to be kind. Goodness means that we are to be good to everyone, even our enemies. Faith means that we trust God for everything. Meekness means that when someone is mean to us, we are not to be mean to him. Temperance means that we are to be in control of our lives and should not sin. Now look at that. The orange is complete. It has all its slices. We also as Christians need to make sure that we have all of our slices. Make sure we are showing God's love to others, being patient with others, and trusting God in our day-to-day -day lives. So when people see us, they will also want to live that way and know Jesus as their Savior. Let's go over that list again. So, the nine fruits are love, joy, Peace, long suffering, which means being patient, goodness, oh, I'm sorry, gentleness, got out of order, goodness. That one's sometimes hard too, isn't it? Then we have faith. And meekness. And then temperance. We'll put him right there. That's a long list, isn't it? So, how are you going to learn and practice all these things? Let's look at these pictures and they'll help us. So, one way you can grow and learn to act all these ways and remember how you're supposed to act is to read the Bible and learn what God's instructions are for you. Also, by praying, you'll also learn and what you need to do and you can also ask for God's help in helping you to learn to practice all of those. And of course, coming to church and going to Sunday school will help you learn also. You can also practice. This little girl is sharing with this other little girl. She's being good. 
These children look like they're all happy and friendly with each other. They're also practicing probably love and joy and peace. These children are all lined up waiting for the bus. This is that patience, that long suffering, waiting your turn. That's the hard one. So that's our story about the fruits of the Spirit. I know it was kind of a long list, but hopefully you can at least practice some of them. So I'm glad y'all were here today. I miss y'all and I hope to see y'all real soon. See you later. Bye.